look like you're cold, Adibu. It's strange. I'm feeling hot and shivery at the same time. I'm aching all over and my body is stiff. Ah, oh, you're boiling. You're getting a temperature. Temperature? Why do I have a temperature? Come with me. We'll go and have a look. Oh. Ready, Bobby. It's finished. Come with Adibu. Ready for adventure. Come with Adibu. Discover all the answers. Come with Adibu. Yes, you remember, come with Addy Boo Up to the adventure So when you need an answer fast How or what or why you ask The knowledge is within your craft Addy Boo Adventure Come with Addy Boo Ready for adventure Come with Addy Boo Discover all the answers Come with Addy Boo Get a quotation! It's full of viruses. Yes, that's right. They're attacking the mucous membrane of the nose. But don't worry, you need to know that temperature is both an alarm signal and a defense mechanism against those viruses. We should tickle the nose to make it sneeze. It might make the viruses run away. Achoo! Oh, it wouldn't be enough. There are too many of them. First of all, we'll pick a virus so we can examine it. Oh, but I can't do it. <laughs> I caught it! I think you caught a rhinovirus. But it doesn't look like a rhinoceros. A rhinovirus. It's a virus that causes the common cold. No time to waste. The body will have to raise the alarm. Oh, what are we going to do? We need to find white blood cells. They like the police force of the body. Take us inside a vein, quick. Beam us up! <laughs> Here we are. We're just on the other side of the nose mucous membrane. But there's nothing but red blood cells here. Uh, 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 achoo! Oh, here, yeah, white blood cell. Come on, Adibu, catch it. We'll put those viruses under its nose. Well done. Now you're going to push it against the vein wall. But won't that crush it? Rest assured it's going to go through it and then get into the nose. But what does it do inside the nose? It identifies the virus and then raises the alarm. Oh, it sends messages. Exactly. The brain receives the information and then raises the body temperature. What has it got to do with viruses? When it gets hotter, viruses can't multiply as quickly. And at the same time, defense mechanisms in the body become much more effective. Here we go. The brain has sent messages for the body to warm up. Whoa, what's going on? The warm blood travels to the most vital organs in order to protect them. So why am I feeling cold then? It's normal. Your skin stays cold while your body warms up inside to fight the viruses. That's why when you have a temperature, you feel both hot and cold. Careful! The viruses are chasing us! Look! The white blood cell is protecting us against those nasty viruses! <laughs> well, that was a hungry cell then. Oh, no, I'm too hot, Robitop. Oh, no, no, it's over 38 centigrade. I'm not sure the spaceship can withstand such temperatures. We'd better get back. How is the temperature going to go down again? When the white blood cells have neutralized all the viruses, the temperature will go down by itself. Oh, let's go back home. Bye bye, little white blood cell. I think you should go to bed and have a rest. Yes, I'll let the white blood cells get on with it. I'm going to bed. Ah. Oh. Ah. So now you know why you get a temperature. Indeed. Temperature raises the alarm when there is a virus inside the body. The temperature rises to slow down viruses so that the white blood cells are more effective. See you! 